Dr. Andrew, spiritual physician. Amen. I just want to talk about antiviruses for a minute. A vast antivirus. No. As many of you know, I was hacked just not two days ago by a very smart scammer. Smart against me, maybe not so smart against other people, but very smart against me. I had no idea what was coming down the pipe. But he threw me for a loop. Needless to say, he got his ass handed to them in the end anyways. I still managed to lock him out of the computer within minutes before any severe damage had been done. Parasite left numerous harmful backdoor entryways onto my computer. So what I had to do is I had to turn off everything. I had to log out of everything, change all the passwords, and that's basically, you know, change the email's password is the first thing I did because that's very important to make sure that he can't log into the email. Turn on two-factor authentication. I know I'm beating the hell out of that, that phrase these days, but two-factor authentication is a very powerful method of keeping unwanted hands off your logins because even if they happen to log in or change it or do anything to modify the account in any way, shape, or form, it goes right to the phone, the device that is connected, and it can't be changed unless it's approved by the old device that changed it to two-factor authentication in the first place. So my understanding of it is if that device goes kaput, like that SIM card goes kaput, you're MIA. There's, you know, you got to do the account recovery in some other way, and I think that process might take a little bit longer, so they wouldn't be able to get in right away. They w you would have time to put a stop to that process before they stole any personal information or anything like that. I'm very new to this and not perfect in my speech and how I'm going to present this information. However, anyways, what I learned was that my next step after locking the door on the accounts was to next find a way to lock the door on the computer before severe damage was done to the computer and the surrounding network. So I went online and I looked up free antivirus and free anti-malware software, anti-spyware, that type of thing. And the two free ones that I came up with was Avast Antivirus and Malware Bytes, which is a program that specifies more toward malware and spyware than antiviruses. And Avast is primarily an antivirus. It will get malware, but um, what I what I experienced with it was that it actually it, it did a full scan. I did a full scan of every single file on my computer. And Avast didn't find a single infected file or problematic file, which I found very interesting. So I said, this is not right. I said, this hacker is inside of my computer. He's, he's a parasite. He's leeching off my shit. So my next step is to download malware bytes and download something more specific because I know it's not a virus that's in my computer. He is spying on me. He's remotely entering my property through Russia, through a secure VPN. And basically, if I don't take those files off the computer as fast as I can, they're going to get multiplied and they're going to be, he's going to just basically grow a tree. <laughs> the roots are the malware. So I downloaded that. And I did the scan, the full scan again. It 
So once I did the full scan of that, um, it found over 400 pups. So what a pup is, is a potentially unwanted program file or whatever. So I deleted all those and it also found over 40 malicious files that were already damaging the computer or harming the, you know, prop potentially future harming the computer either now or in the future. Whether it be he's able to spy on me, whether he's able to enter my computer through a backdoor program from a remote location, that all those files got deleted right on the spot and that only took about an hour. I still haven't logged into any of my accounts on the computer. So, over the next couple of weeks, maybe longer, I'm not in any rush to get this thing back up and fully operational. I'm not going to be logging into any of my primary accounts on this. I'm going to be doing regular scans. Apparently, anti a vast antivirus is not good for what he was trying to accomplish. Like, it wasn't detecting anything. I'm getting a lot of hits today from people, so a lot of texters. So anyways, um, I don't mind it so much anymore, I guess, as long as it's not, you know, 24-7. It is, but it's not like annoying spam texts 24-7, which is what I was getting in the past. I was just, you know, just, people were too needy with me. And I wasn't ready to give that much love. Like, maybe today, if I was in those same situations with people, I would have been not considering that same amount of traffic spam. Like, honestly, I would say that some people are even more needy with me today. Like, I have one person that has called me, like, sometimes three or four times a day. Called. And I have to, like, go on the phone for an hour or two and talk to that person. And I don't hate that, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's, that's my life. So that's the scoop on the computer. Everything's secure right now. There's no more infected files on the computer. It's been restored to factory default without actually, actually doing a factory reset. The reason we didn't do a factory reset and just wiped all the files off the computer that were there is because none of those files I either didn't have saved somewhere else already. I have like a web and network where the good files are saved to like four or five different spots so that people can't fuck with me unless they really, you know, dig in there and put, you know, basically target me rather than just target a random person. They would have to do a lot of work or they would have to get very close to my, you know, personal space to, to, to take control of my network. And I'm not a malicious person. I don't, you know, I don't go around looking for trouble. But I will definitely defend myself if I have to, like a good Canadian would. And in this case, I used the necessary force and I let them know afterwards. You tried, you failed. Better luck next time. And in the hacking world, you know, coming close is just not cutting it for a hacker. So have fun having to think about that for the next X amount of years as my YouTube channel grows into a much bigger and more beautiful organization. And you get to watch that from your remote location. And I didn't get a reply back in two days now from that person. But when I saw the 400 infected, possibly infected files and the over 40 already infected files on the computer as we spoke, I, I had to do that in safe mode. I had to make sure that when I was scanning the computer, once I had got the malware device onto my computer so that just in case something triggered when I was scanning or when I was deleting that it wouldn't affect the rest of the network and this is just in my own head nobody told me to do this so I put the computer on safe mode and I scanned it on safe mode and then I deleted everything on safe mode and then I took safe mode off and it's back everything's back up now everything's running fine like I said I'm just not logged in any any of the main accounts Currently, I'm just just running it, just seeing how it works with the vast the malware and the new VPN. 
Proton VPN. It's a free VPN service for anybody around the world. It's spelled P-R-O-T-O-N VPN, and you can get that anywhere in the world for free. It's a very slow connection. It takes up quite a bit of space on the computer, but for a free VPN, I didn't find anything better as of now. So I'm not saying that there isn't anything better out there. I'm just saying that I didn't personally find anything better myself and nor did I even look that hard. I just basically took the first thing that I saw. So that's the scoop on that. Everything's hunky-dory as my stepfather used to say and my mother and yeah things are back and things are back on track. Nothing was lost except a little bit of my serenity and a whole lot of time. Time that I'll never get back and that's why we That's why we, you know, that's why we take those things very seriously. When somebody's trying to steal someone's money or somebody's trying to steal someone's identity, what they're really stealing is the person's time. And time is the most precious gift and thing that there is on this planet to have. So anytime somebody is trying to steal that from me, they're going to face harsh adversity. Let's just say that. I'm not going to take too kindly to thieves nor am I a thief myself. I try not to steal people's time. I try not to waste people's time. If I'm talking to you, it's gonna be, I follow the acronym, think, thoughtful. Is it, is it true? Is it inspiring? Is it thoughtful? Is it honest? Is it inspiring? Is it um, necessary and is it kind? And if it doesn't follow that protocol, and again, like, you know, people are going to say, well, you've said some pretty provocative things over the, and I know I have, but looking at the grand scheme of things, like, you know, what I put up on the channel and what I say in certain moments when I speak like that, that's just a small fraction of who I really am. And that's not the type of person that I really am, is that dark, devilish asshole that just wants to hurt people and make people feel small. That's the sick person coming out there. That's the disease in me coming out when that happens. But that's like 5% of my life, really. Most of my disease is not, does not manifest in those ways. It just, it remains on the inside and it comes out in healthier ways. So, yeah. The way that that hacker got in was he used a, an email scam, which is very common especially when we're posting our links on social media on the channels. They got my email. They just ripped me an email that said, we'll give you some money if you want to advertise our VPN service for you. They copied a VPN that had a lot of high rank among VPNs. It was Nova VPN. But there's five, what I saw to be five different Nova VPNs. And they, you know, they hammered me with a they hammered me with a VPN that looked fairly reasonable, an up-and-coming VPN, a copycat VPN, and, you know, but I I still didn't take that seriously. as a, I didn't take it as a serious threat, and I let it slide, plus I wanted the $100 that I was charging for the 30-second advertising spot in the video, at the end of the video, per video. That would have been a very good marketing ploy for me. And it wouldn't have been that difficult. I would have just had to talk about the VPN service for 30 seconds, talk about its perks and the cost of it and what have you. They sent me a file to download it and they were gonna give me a free year, a free uh, a free year of it, like a free year of that VPN service. So they sent me an executable file, which is a setup.exe file that I can only download on my PC. And once it got on there, that was the backdoor entry for him. That was the malware, and I didn't know it. And then once I installed it, it disappeared. The file disappeared, so there's no way to trace it. It's invisible. There's no installer. There's no, your program was installed. There's no where to find it unless you look very closely. So it's better to just get an anti-malware that actually works. It's not a foolproof plan, but it works probably 99% better than what I could have did with my own two eyes. 
and I just had to click one button. So once we got that all taken care of and back on track, life's looking okay again on this channel. Uh, that was quite a scare, I'm not going to lie, to have your YouTube career flash before your eyes. 43,000 subscribers on the line, all because of a big bonehead decision for $100 that I could have easily just said no to and not had to have the headache or the stress to go along with it. It was not worth $100. That interaction, that experience for me, it's probably worth a bit of $5,000 to $10,000 for the amount of trauma that it caused me to have to deal with that. That was an emergency slash crisis situation for me because he was literally fucking with my future by doing that. And I was allowing it to happen. That's where I went wrong. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button underneath the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and share the video around to someone who may find it beneficial. Canadian salute.